Hey guys, Sam here and welcome back to my Java Swing Tutorials for Beginners. And in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you all about the progress bars and all that stuff. The progress bar and when a progress bar is completely loaded, it performs something and that's what we're gonna be learning in, uh, in today's class. Okay, so first let me just tell you all what's a... Uh, you can say a progress bar. A progress bar is nothing but something really really cool which actually does uh, is best thing for a good user interface like if Google just imagine that in Chrome if Google hadn't indicated that uh, your file is downloading and the progress of that thing and it hadn't showed anything to just imagine how how tough it would have been for us okay so a progress bar is really good for a good user interface okay so let's just go ahead and create a new java class and it's gonna be progress bar okay so I'm just gonna create the main method public static void main string and the name is gonna be Sam and instead of void or something I know it's a void okay so here I'm just gonna go ahead and type in new progress bars okay so let me just create the constructor of this code. Uh, okay. So here I'm going to be typing in. Um, firstly, let's create our J frame. If you don't know about the J frame and all that stuff, then you can just go ahead and watch my videos on these things. These J panel, J button, and all that stuff. You know, there are the main user interfaces. There are thousands of interfaces in Java. But we're gonna be discussing not the very advanced ones, but the tough ones. Not very tough ones, but you know, just some very, some good ones, okay? Let me just show you all what I did. It should be cleared by these two lines, of course. And in this line, J progress bar, we have created the object of the J progress bar. And here it's zero, which is its minimum, and hundred is its maximum uh, percentage that it can go from zero to hundred. Okay, not very tough. But it's gonna be very tough when you just, uh, you know, there are many things like when you just create a web browser, you just set it to that you load this thing, and there's a progress bar right up there. And to make that kind of thing, it isn't very tough, but it's some it's a bit tough. Okay. Okay, so let me just. Shift and cut this thing. And then I type in frame dot add panel and then panel dot add and it's gonna be pro. And then we're gonna be pasting this line and the frame dot its size and it's gonna be four hundred by four hundred. The frame dot set default close operation frame dot exit and close. Okay, so let's just run this program. It isn't very efficient, anyway. So here is our progress bar and now what we need to do is it's you can see it's not loaded at all and now what we need to do is we need to load some value in it so there's a simple method 
called as uh, it's gonna be pro dot set value and here we can just set the value of that thing and here we require an integer type variable so here you're able to see that this progress bar is loaded now what you need to do is on uh, is that it's it just keeps on loading on its own okay we now don't need to set that volume method again and again so for that what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a step weight method for that public static void and it's going to be something like i create And then I'm going to type in uh, world x is less than five. I'll be declaring this integer type x variable later, but just for now, it's going to be uh, pro dot set value, and it's going to be something like. Okay, so we can just make this variable instance. And it's gonna be a static variable. And then it's gonna be a static integer type variable x, which equals to zero right now. Okay. So finally, we need to type in x plus plus, and then we need to type in the final thing, which is the thread dot sleep. And here, we need to pass some integer type variable, like in the milliseconds. So it's gonna be one two milliseconds. Okay, so what's this thread and what's this sleep? It's nothing tough. It's just a two or three minutes lecture. You can just watch it from other videos. It isn't really, trust me, it isn't tough. Okay, don't think that I don't know about them. I actually know about them, but I don't want to waste time on these things. Okay, so here I'm going to surround it with uh, try and catch. And drop it with exception. Okay, I just always pronounce experiments bad in an incorrect way which is a I present it as expection or X something like that but now I get to pronounce it okay so let me just again run it and now you're not able to see it working because we haven't added it so instead of adding it to our progress balls uh, the constructor of this code we instead we instead need to get it into the main method which is, um, we can just type in like wait, because it's a static uh, method. So now you're able to see it's it just working on its own, and we don't need to again and again type in this. Okay, so let it just get loaded. And when it gets loaded, it isn't doing anything. Okay. So now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be adding that method that whenever the x reaches to hundred or something or reaches to ninety nine, then give it here. Uh, it's downloaded. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be adding if. Here, if x double equals to 100, okay, we just actually get well, no problem. And then we're gonna be typing in system dot out dot print, and it's gonna be okay. So let's just again run it. And now we need to wait for it. I'm not sure that's gonna work because it's 
Here to here, and it starts with less than half here. Okay, it's just printed. I was wrong. And here it just printed that when I prayed was completed. Okay, so thank you for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to watch more tutorials on these things, these the stuff, then please let me know in the comment section below. And last time, thank you for watching.